Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Make sure to subscribe to my channel, turn post notifications on, and like the video. Also, if you're interested in more content, comment down below what you'd like to see. And yeah, let's get straight into the video. Now, in this video, I'm going to be showing you guys how I personally made maps. This might not be perfect, or it might not be uh, exactly what you're looking for, or it might not help you. However, this is how I make maps and how I uh, profit from making my maps. And yeah, let's get straight to it. As you can see in the video, I start off by creating a little map layout uh, using paint or you can use Photoshop or whatever. I tend to use paint because, you know, it's just fast, quick and easy. I don't need it to be anything detailed. Um, I begin by, you know, sketching out like where the structures are going to be. I tend to label where arches are going to be, stairs, st little stuff like that. I tend to uh, create different type of routes for the player to maneuver through. I tend to keep certain areas open uh, or, or whatever depending on what you want the map to be like or what you, you want to achieve essentially from this map. I also tend to color code uh, where I want my arches, where I want my stairs, uh, where I want like for example water or something which comes in handy later on uh, in case I forget. Okay as soon as I'm done with my map layout I go straight into studio. Okay, so the first thing I do is figure out the size of the map that I want. In this video, I think I go with uh, 300 studs by 300 studs. Once I figure that out, I create, start creating the border and then go from there. Uh, one quick tip is I always tend to place a dummy inside the map so I know uh, roughly how big the, the structures are in comparison to the actual player itself so I don't have an, an oversized look in, in the map which will end up looking horrible and will be a huge pain to sort out layer. I also always make sure to always go back and look at the original map layout that I created. I, I tend to go off free and make minor adjustments after I've created the, uh, the basis that I was looking for. Some things don't tend to work out like I think I believe a staircase I made didn't really work out and was uh, uh, too far out of place so I had to adjust that and then adjust the map around it so uh, it looked better and made sense. But yeah, once this block out phase is uh, done, I tend to add all the detail in afterwards, such as textures or any kind of uh, extra models that I want to go in Blender and create. I'm not going to show that in this video because it's going to take a really long time. But anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Make sure to uh, subscribe to my channel, turn post notifications on and like the video. And that's it from me. Peace.